On the 16th of December 1965, the film The Battle of the Bulge was released on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the battle. I suppose most of you will have seen it, there are some glaring inaccuracies, so much so that Eisenhower was very upset about it. Whereas the film clearly says at the end that it has tried to condense the battle and taken liberties with facts, there are those which could have been avoided such as saying that the British 8th Army was to the north of the Ardennes. If fact, it was to the south, indeed more than 1,000 kilometers to the south, in Italy. Despite this, I think that most people would put the movie in their top 10 World War II films. So why did the film revert to fictional characters when the real ones would have worked just as well? According to the an article in the Washington Post, Dwight D. Eisenhower was outraged by this Warner Brothers movie. Columbia Pictures had been planning an epoch about the battle and it had the cooperation of the Defense Department, as well as many of the generals who had been involved, including Eisenhower and Bernard L. Montgomery. The proposed title of Columbia's movie was, 16th of December, The Battle of the Bulge. Michael Anderson was to direct from a screenplay written by Byron Morgan and Tony Lazzarino. The film was to be co-produced by Lazzarino and Kenneth T. Hoke. The former president's son John S. D. Eisenhower was writing a companion history of the battle and serving as technical advisor. Anderson was hoping to have Van Heflin as Eisenhower, David Niven as Montgomery, John Wayne as General George S. Patton and Lawrence Olivier as Adolf Hitler. Shortly after Columbia announced that filming would begin during the winter of 1964, Warner Brothers registered the title, The Battle of the Bulge, and announced that it was going to make its own fictional movie, upsetting the plans for Columbia's epoch. Columbia obtained an injunction against Warner's, dropping it after Warner's agreed that its picture would not use the names of any of the real-life figures that had contributed to Columbia's project, such as Eisenhower, Montgomery, Omar Bradley, Anthony McAuliffe, Patton and ten other people. The Defense Department had also urged a Federal Trade Commission action against the movie on the grounds that its title was misleading. Even up to the date of the Warner Brothers release, Columbia intended to go ahead with filming to begin at Camp Drum near Watertown in New York State, in the autumn of 1966, but the film never made it beyond the talking stage. Once the Warner Brothers film came out, Columbia clearly thought that they had been beaten to it and scrapped the planned epoch. There is also something else curious about the film. The song, the tankers song, they only sing the first verse. In the film they repeat this four times. Ob's stürmt oder schneit, ob die Sonne uns lacht, der Tag glühend heiß, oder eiskalt die Nacht. Bestaubt sind die Gesichter, doch froh ist unser Sinn. Ja. Unser Sinn. Es braust unser Panzer im Sturmwind dahin. What they should have sang is this. Ob's stürmt oder schneit, ob die Sonne uns lacht, der Tag glühend heiß oder eiskalt die Nacht. Verstaubt sind die Gesichter, doch froh ist unser Sinn. Ja, unser Sinn. Es braust unser Panzer im Sturmwind dahin. Mit donnernden Motoren, geschwind wie der Blitz, dem Feinde entgegen, im Panzer geschützt. Voraus den Kameraden, im Kampf stehen wir allein, stehen wir allein, so stoßen wir tief in die feindlichen Reihen. Wenn vor uns ein feindliches Heer dann erscheint, wird Vollgas gegeben und ran an den Feind. Was gilt denn unser Leben für unseres reiches Heer? Ja reiches Heer für Deutschland zu sterben ist uns höchste Ehr. Mit Sperren und Minen hält der Gegner uns auf, wir lachen darüber und fahren nicht drauf. Und drohen vor uns Geschütze, versteckt im gelben Sand, im gelben Sand. Wir suchen uns Wege, die keiner sonst fand. Und lässt uns im Stich einst das treulose Glück. Und kehren wir nicht mehr zur Heimat zurück. Trifft uns die Todeskugel, ruft uns das Schicksal ab, ja Schicksal ab. Dann wird uns der Panzer ein ehrenes Grab. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting.